Hi, I'm Rob from Hobzing. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we've got a can of beer from Guaylo Beers in Hong Kong. It's a can of their Hop Kong New England IPA. Brewed in collaboration with Behemoth, which I think I think they're New Zealand. It's a 4.9. It's a quite low ABV for an IPA. I'd say, I mean, kind of like New, e New England pale, personally. But, I mean, big thanks to the guys at Guaylo for sending me this and a few others to take a look at. Really appreciate it. Uh, this batch um was anyway, so they're gonna be brewing on um, pr primarily on license in the uk um this first batch of four beers that i'll be reviewing were brewed uh, at fierce up in scotland and then the core range i'm told is going to be brewed at vocation in hebden bridge in west yorkshire hooray <laughs> so beer in the glass you're getting a really um hazy sand colored beer kind of maybe slight kind of radiant amber um Slightly off white head, so as well as sniff, let's check out the aroma. Mmm, lovely, lovely. First thing that hits me is um, marmalade, melon, pineapple. Certainly, there's definitely something a, a more toasted malt in there, slightly kind of peppery edge to it, kind of rye like. And for a beer of this ABV, I think you do need a bit more of a complex malt character. If not, it becomes a session IPA. I'm not a fan of session IPAs. Yeah, a real kind of like blood orange. Something that, I mean, it's not quite raspberry, but. Mmm, smells great. It smells kind of spicy, but also kind of like nice, juicy citrus. Anyway, let's dive in. Cheers. Mmm. That's nice. I said, definitely, it's got a good, interesting malt character to it. It doesn't say what's in it, I don't think. Um, no. But yeah, it's got that slightly peppery rye, kind of amber, kind of malts in there. This is slightly crystally malt. No, it's not crystal malt, but let me a toasted malt of some description. Once again, red apple. No, not red apple. Actually, there's a red currant thing going on. There's a slight spicy, peppery note. As I said once again, slightly rye like. Blood orange. Yeah, there's kind of like a red berry thing going on. Definitely blood orange. quite pithy and dry mm. it's really pleasant you get this kind of orange peel thing kind of what you just quite fragrant so literally like torn up an orange you get that kind of set flying around it takes me close to beers like um stone um levitation ale maybe a slightly lesser Spicy note than something like Beaver Town's Eight Ball. Grapefruit. Memories of when Punk IPA, not Punk IPA, when um, Five AM Saint from Brewdog was good. A combination of quite bright citrus and um, more peppery toasted malts. It's nice. Very pleasant. It's nice to get something that isn't just the same old, same old. And at 4.9, I think they're doing a really good job of holding uh, holding it from being just like hop soup or like a really insipid kind of like thing. So I think they've done a nice job with that. So that's Hop Kong. New England IPA. Maybe I won't call it that, but what are you going to call it? From Guaylo in Hong Kong. Brewed in collaboration with their friends from Behemoth in New Zealand. I've checked the can. It says it. <laughs> it said brewed at Fierce up in Scotland. 4.9% ABV. Lovely stuff. I said thanks to the guys at the brewery for sending me this. Very pleasant post beer, post work beer. Anyway, I'm Rob from Hopsing. See you next time. Cheers.